Hi everyone, it's FCA and it is Kitty Corner Springtime Edition slash Easter. There are a lot more spring activities to come in the near future. I hope that you all are going to have a happy Easter, which is next Sunday, April 5th, 2015. But for today, this is Sunday. You won't see this until Monday, so hopefully happy Monday, everybody. It's still cold in Ohio, but with the hopes of spring and the praising of warmer weather, I have some activities for you and your little ones to do. Again, most of these are geared towards toddlers, 18 to 36 months. If you have kids who are a little older, you can give them more to do with the projects uh, if they're in preschool or kindergarten, and we can move along ourselves. So I have a stack here, and we're just going to work our way down. And the first thing we're going to start with is a flower. Springtime. Kids love flowers. They, it's a word they easily recognize and stuff. So here we have a tulip specifically. And this is one that my kids did. You can give them the glue stick and let them do this part and glue this part. If they're older kids, you can let them actually cut out their own leaf, which as you can see, can be simple as a triangle. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just a strip of darker green and then let them paint the tulip. As you can see, it's just three little triangle tips with a very long U shape. Very easy to do, not a lot of effort on your part. You can let them paint the whole thing if they're older kids and, or whatever you want. You can let their older kids, you can have them actually cut out a trace out. Just depends on how far you want to go with it, how many kids you have to work with. So here's just the template I started with, just a white tulip flower. Just take a piece of paper and just start cutting diagonally to make some triangles and just a simple strip of green for the stem and this is going to come in handy later this specific thing I realized I was out of frame when I said that next is oh what's this a very large egg now this is a fairly medium egg actually you could make any of these projects bigger in size for your kids or smaller in size it uh, just depends on how much you want the kids to do, if it's for busy work, if they're actually in school, uh, whatever you're doing with your kids. But this is a fairly medium sized egg, which is a nice project for two year olds because it's big enough that they're like, ooh, big project. Uh, but you, you're going to give them different colors. Note to everyone giving their kids paint or watercolors, anything like that. Do not give them, even if they ask for it, orange and blue on the same project. When it comes to mixing colors, if you did not know, orange and blue make brown or puce. If you want it to be more brown, you need to put more orange in it. If you give too much blue, you're going to end up with the ugliest diarrhea green color you have ever seen because of the yellow tone of the orange and the blue. And with the red, you're just going to get this a very greenish brown, which looks like a do-do. So if you don't want a do-do colored egg, uh, avoid giving your kids the same thing with purple and yellow. Don't do that. If they're on opposite ends of the color wheel, if they complement each other, red and green, same basic principle. Don't mix. <laughs> Don't mix opposing primary and secondary colors. You will end up with a mess and, a, and an unpleasant color. This is a giant carrot. Is it a giant carrot? So you just take three strips, have them just taped or glued on top of each other, stick it in the back, and you can have it either way. It looks like a little carrot. You just need a giant triangle Give them some orange paint and let them go crazy. It's a simple project, something that they could recognize. They'll be able to go carrot. And it's Easter related, it's spring related, and it's a nice simple project for them to do. Another Easter specifically based project is a jelly bean. So you can give them a jelly bean, let them pick out their color, and let them have a ball painting a giant jelly bean. Because this is just one color, typically, 
um, you can let you can get a bigger project if the more colors you add to it I tend to make it smaller that way they, they can only it'll fill up faster so they'll only choose one or two colors and when they mix them it's not quite as blobbish just as a future reference now this is a bunny 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 um, this is of course my template one as you can see I was testing things out like I said you don't have to be an artist in my previous kitty corner videos you don't have to have a whole lot of skills yourself as the teacher the babysitter the parent to do projects with your kids if you have to make it try again to make it look right a couple times that's okay this is just the basic bunny and then you cut out the other ones on the other papers so that they all come out the same so you can you could actually I just freehanded this you could always get one off of the internet and print out one that you can cut out so you don't have to deal with with the lines yourself whatever works for you let them paint it brown and put actual food sprinkles on it and they let them make their own chocolate bunnies that's a nice little easter project that is another tulip didn't know that was there as a more spring could be easter but spring related project um, I made an oval with a couple little strips on the end to be a sheep's face. Made a couple, colored the ears pink. Again, if you have older kids, you can let them do more of the work. Then with this, I made a U shape and then cut a dip. Um, as you can see, it's uneven. Little kids don't care about that. And you stick it on there and you have a little sheep. And you also want some l white or ivory I chose ivory just because it's a slightly different color to the paper because I used white paper you could switch that up but it is still a white s color cut it into little strips and let them glue it on there you know wool yarn on the sheep and have a little puff or bobble and stick it on the end I don't have glue right now but you stick it on the end and you got yourself a little sheep you can let them glue the head on you can do that yourself depending on how young they are and it's a nice little project you know lambs of the springtime things like that if you're going to have a party with your kids a party favor or just let them make a whole bunch of stamps just get you these were a dollar ninety eight at Walmart and I'm sure they have them at CVS other drugstores they probably if you live in the UK I imagine they would have something like this in say super drug perhaps a lot of drug stores tend to have these cute little stamps that have bunnies butterflies flowers and ladybugs and little eggs on them and i got two because i have lots of, lots of kids and you know just let them have a ball just stamping a piece of paper they will think that is the most fun thing ever Another little treat that you can give your kids, this is, I'm going to split this up and give each of my kids one of these carrots. As you can see by the size of my hand, they're not huge, but what these are, um, are lush bunch of carrots reusable bubble bars. So this is solid bubble bath in the shape of a carrot with a nice citrusy scent, which is a very cute non-chocolate. So if you have a kid, these are all hypoallergenic. There's no chemicals. They're perfect for sensitive skin like those found in little children. There shouldn't be any allergic problems. I don't guarantee that you will want to check. Um, the ingredients because there is orange in here so if your kid has an, an allergic reaction to orange coloring or orange then you would want to avoid this but lush has you can get three in one so you can split one of these up and give it to three kids which is what i'm going to do and bubble bath is a nice little thing um, because bubble baths are often sometime treats for little kids so giving it to them on easters i, I think is a nice little project and of course the classic you can do easter egg coloring with your kids the preparation of course is you need an easter egg coloring kit and to boil some eggs for your kids now with this i chose this one called majestic because it is very they have very shiny eggs which i think the kids would find very fun 
And this is very toddler friendly. So again, I'm talking 18 to 36 months. And all you have to do with this is it comes with little bags and little packets. You squeeze the packet of dye into the little bag and then they rub the egg together so there's no dipping, there's no possible spilling with uh, giant cups anyway. Um, you do want to make sure you put paint shirts on them whenever you do any sort of painting, ink, product, anything, kind of, not product, project. But this is something, you know, you tell them, okay, you get this one and then you get another color. And it's just something fun for them to do that's easy for them to do and that they can see happen, that they can physically do. Easter egg coloring is such a cute thing. And when you work at a daycare, um, you don't have to say that it's Easter or even though coloring eggs is, of course, an Easter-related thing, you don't have to be super religious about it if you are not allowed to be or if you don't want to be. It can just be an art project for your kids to do. And so those are my Easter and spring projects for you and your little ones. I hope you've been enjoying Kitty Corner videos. There will be another one later in the spring that involves gardening and other adventures that you can do with your kids. There's more outside projects that are going to be planned with the warmer weather that we all anticipate and hope comes. Happy Easter, everyone, and a happy Easter to your kids and happy projects. Bye.